Okay, so set it wide if we look at that. Now, I know we're not looking down the line for posture, but just look at how your head now is a bit taller anyway. The head's up a little bit, and it's slightly more kind of neutral and more in line with this. What you had it when it was there was sort of that, that head tilted a bit to the, to the yeah. left-hand side there, making it very awkward. So this hip now is going to slide in that direction, which means these shoulders are going in that direction. So look at the top of your backswing. As you go back, see the right ear is visible, just sort of tilting it this way quite a bit. As you go back there now, there's kind of the right side of your body, and there's left hip to left shoulder yeah. tilting to the goal line. From there, you try and swing from the inside now to tight. It's just going to be impossible. Okay, you're going to have to come over the top. There'll be a lot of movement now with your top half back to the goal board, which we'll shown in a second, and you're very steep across the ball, launching that ball really, really low. Okay, getting behind the goal board, getting this hip kind of tucked in a little bit. Your right shoulder now is kind of outside your right hip, which we're looking for. As you rotate back now, we're now getting behind the goal. So there's left shoulder, left hip, and you can see now there's kind of your turn in the back. So okay, so you're getting yourself here, right? We can practice that, so that becomes kind of the norm. Next session, what we're going to look at is really sort of maintaining that position around the golf ball. All that's going to move now is your hips are going to move this way towards target if we put a little circle around here what we'll see and this is always going to happen at the moment anyway now how much movement that head's got when you're going from there a long way over to that left hand side yeah so when you finish your hands are going to be that was a better movement there compared to this one here now you put that close down you see them are moving this way now when you come to the shot there now okay finish position is fairly similar hands are getting up a little bit but if you're setting up like this and the right hip goes out, you're coming in this way in a steep angle, get your hands up high now, you hit yourself. So the hands have got to swing low. The feeling, I think, is that cone there we put on the target line, the sensation is starting right at that target line. The big high happy hooker, we said, was the, sort of the, the, the best two or three shots you hit. Excuse me. I think you kind of distinctly felt, OK, I'm going to set up here and really feel like, yeah, like a top spin, lob, drop kick, big sling, OK? Because that feeling of that real big slingy shot actually gave you a fairly straight shot. Because as much as that, that shot <clears throat> was a reasonable shot in terms of distance, 160, launch was up-ish, and just spin. And that's three times more than you really want to be doing, okay? So it's missed it by 24 yards right of target. It's probably started five, six yards right of target and just kept going further and further right. That on a par three, you're missing the green, maybe even losing the ball. Yeah? So we've got to try and make sure we get that club working a bit more from sort of underneath and up and under kind of sensation, not this smother over the top. And that's the big thing in terms of your set that's going to create that, okay? If we can start off behind the ball and stay there, and I would say practice as much as you can, making back swings to the top where you get yourself here, okay? It's not actually a sway with the top half, but you're just making a rotation there behind the goal. There's a little bit of heavy, which is fine. But you're getting behind that ball, okay? Whereas this movement here now, okay, a little bit, if I'm being honest. But I wouldn't, again, I don't want to try and think about too many things. <laughs> For you, I want to try and really focus on what your spine doing, okay? If the leg does move a little bit less, it'd be okay. But I'd rather see you moving these like this and moving it better and getting your spine in that correct top of the back position rather than being this sort of tilted there, yeah. leaning on the golf ball too much on your left hand side. The leg movement's still the same. Just your spine angle needs to be more over this way, okay? Where you are there, okay? Get behind the ball, and then what we'll end up doing next session, make some swings from here where we're swinging through, and just feel like almost like a, an uppercut type sensation, swinging the club this way, not yeah. driving your top half, okay? You've always had that kind of drive with the top half, okay? Where you swung this way, your lower half to sort of move a long way to the left. Now, in this situation, you've got into a just about there's the ball there. We want the head behind the golf ball, just. But you think, like, split seconds after, you're already ahead of it and dipping down low. It doesn't take a lot, then, to beat a little bit further in front and you're gone. Most tour players are still behind the ball with this position. Okay, they're sort of from here. You better sort of really extending. They extend up and through and release, and then they'll kind of come to the end, finishing this way. You finish kind of very much forward. But I say, come back the same as start, go, go. It all stems from that set-up position. And look at the difference in the head position there.
Yeah, I would like to see that head a little bit more over. But this one, as you see the full sort of right here now, just get it this way, yeah? Just start neutral with your head, kind of level with the shoulders, and just sort of, and again, in front of the mirror, just stand there and sort of do this. Just let your head go. Feel a bit like you're doing this to start with sometimes, but just letting things kind of move in position, not that way, because it's putting a lot more stress on the right side of your neck there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, makes sense? Yeah, perfect. Good man.